Mr. Massoud, what about the humanitarian situation in Afghanistan, as far as you know? Uh, we now know the Panjshir Valley, it is, uh, as according to you, uh, be occupied by both the Taliban and the resistance forces. What are the situation for the common people, particularly in that province? Of course, it's a very dire situation. The Taliban have cut all the supply lines. They have been blockade, the Panjshir. And at the same time, they have cut all the basic things, the food, the very essential need, and all of that. Only just two days ago, one day ago, they started to give the electricity back. But that's all at this moment. Of course, we all know that the situation is very bad in the whole of Afghanistan, economically and food-wise, uh, food shortage, medicine shortage, other essential shortage, all of them. Mm. Mr. Masood, another question, of course, about the humanitarian situation. We see um, quite a number of countries already pledged and also delivered to a certain extent emergency aid to your country in Afghanistan. For example, Russia, China, Qatar, even UAE and some of the others uh, for emergency aid, food, uh, medicine, vaccinations, things like that. Uh, tell me how much will this of support to uh, your country, Afghanistan as a whole, and, and how uh, do you see uh, is the best way for the international community to provide support, I mean humanitarian support? The best way to do that one is to go to some sort of international channel or international kind of uh, aid institution or maybe some Afghan independent channel which will be allowed by the Taliban to operate inside Afghanistan. I do think that that should go through NGOs because at the moment we are kind of suffering. So therefore it's best for the international community to do it themselves or to do some other kind of foreign challenge to reach uh, the people of Afghanistan.